It's jammed! I don't know what they did in Elysium, but somehow they jammed it. Unjammed. keep shooting or do we want to jump into the review? Today we're going to compare the Cloud Defensive Rain to a Modelite OKW head to a Surefire M300. Let's do that real quick. We're losing daylight here, or actually we're gaining daylight here. So here is the rain, line of a bush right there. All right, offhand, I have, we'll come, go hit the on, compare it to an OKW head. Flash a little bit different, all right. So that's against the OKW. Then compare against the M300. Did you fall on the camera guy? All right, and that's against the that's against the M300 over there. And that, the rain is very much outclassing that M300. Doesn't really stand a chance. Okay. Very cool. Very cool camera guy. Ladies, gentlemen, welcome back to the Executive Outcomes channel, a channel where your dreams and your memes are all in the same. Today we're talking about the Cloud Rain weapon light system. Uh, this is on loan from us by uh, Cloud Defensive and they let us borrow it, which for whatever reason, I don't know why they would do that uh, because anytime someone has to send us something, well, I guess I do know now, but it legitimately has to be like retard proof. Look. So, uh, they sent us this cloud. <laughs> they sent us this cloud to check out and play around with, which is very appreciative of, and we're out here testing it today. So originally the plan was, if you're wondering, hey, uh, why do you have a $300 weapon light on your uh, AKM? Well, first off, I'm allowed to do whatever I want to my AK. Second off, uh, this is the only ammo I really have to shoot right now. 5.56 five, is one of those things where I don't feel like popping off a lot of right now, and I'm trying to hold on to my bullets as much as I can. So <laughs> we're gonna run it on the 7.62 platform. Empty mag, and weapons on safe. I'm gonna take my ear pro off because no real reason to have it on if I'm not doing any shooting, scooting, and booking. Uh, if you're wondering, hey, you still have that mount on your AKM that you don't like, which is the Strike Industries mount, we're gonna divert real quick. Uh, yeah, uh, we're in the process of getting a RS Regulate mount on the AKM. Uh, you gotta drill out some holes back here for it, but we'll get that going here shortly. But for the meantime, we're just memeing around with this AK. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a good time, all right? Back to the real meat and potatoes of this video. We're going over weapon lights, a topic of which I am very mildly allowed to go over. And when I say mildly, it's just I'm awful at giving like all these statistics. I'm kind of retarded. Nice jet strap. <laughs> A little Pat 83. I like to put mags in my guns when I talk because it feels more complete. Oh, make it, make it hot. <clears throat> you know, I don't want to die on camera. That's my fear. Like, no, my luck, it's like I'm going to do something dumb talking about the gun and I'm going <laughs> to somehow, like, my brains are going to, we'll be on live leak. Um, so, back to the light review. Even though it's daytime now, we missed a good chunk of nighttime talking where it gets a little, little weird, a little, little naughty after dark. But essentially, the Cloud Rain is actually a pretty fun little light. Uh, it's very durable, very chonky, very thick with three C's. And that's one of the downsides, I think. You're gonna have a lot of weight on your gun if you wanna run it. This AK is already thicker than a mofo. And so more weight on there is just for the lulls. And I think it's actually kind of funny. If you compare it to say, what I showed you earlier, the M300, I have a ghetto rigged IR filter on this. Is, this is the normal M300 on my AK. It's just one of those funny, like uh, the guns, it's an AK. You gotta ghetto rig some stuff. So 
There we go. Take that ghetto IR, IR filter off. But if you compare it to one of like, the weight on this guy is substantially less than the overall signature and weight that's gonna be on the Cloud Rain. There's some duct tape goop on this. Nonetheless. Now, if you also compare, I've been carrying, and I think we'll go over this in a future video, but the Mod Light with an OKW head. This is the handheld configuration. Uh, if you were to one, run this the full size, the signature is gonna be much less than also the Rain. So the output of this is gonna be a little bit tighter than say the cloud. So it's completely water sealed and functional uh, down to a hundred feet underwater. That's, I don't know, that outperforms anything that I <laughs> do on the flat range. First off, I don't even know how to like swim. <laughs> oh, it's a joke, I can swim barely, but uh, it's gonna outperform 90% of us unless you're a goddamn Navy SEAL. So that's one of the perks. I don't know if you're doing some sort of weird underwater spelunking that you're gonna need a weapon light. We're fighting off sharks with laser beams, but in case you do, this actually might be the <laughs> light for you, which is also really exciting when you think about it because technology is actually progressing to that point of uh, gear that's gonna be so squared away. It's gonna outperform all of us. Pretty soon we'll be like the fat people from uh, Wally, -E, while all of our gear is like and transformers fighting for us so it's gonna be kind of cool and see this has been a weird elon musk uh rage i don't know why you guys show up and watch these um how i, I gotta rig this bad boy up so uh, you can kind of see that you have the the momentary light and then you have the the click on light yeah so you click this bad boy light stays on click it off you have the pressure pad light right here for momentary because this was sitting on an lmt over here if you see camera guy you following me it was sitting on the LMT and the setup for the pressure switch is on the rail. So, and it's held in place by this uh, set of brackets right here. We'll get some more B-roll for you later, but essentially it holds into place onto the rail. If, I think if they were just to go the mod button or the mod light hot button route, uh, which I think a lot of uh, guys are starting to lean towards of reducing the, the footprint on your rail system. The less stuff you have on your gun, typically the less that's going to get caught up. This is a, this AKM is a literal nightmare of just stuff that's going to get snagged on your gear. Any sort of stress situation that you want to deploy your rifle, you might as well consider yourself uh, good as dead. It's, it's a lot of stuff that's, it's, it's allowing Murphy's Law to come in and really rock your world. All right, now I can finally grab my sunglasses because it's getting bright. Actually. All right, I couldn't find my sunglasses. <laughs> I couldn't find my sunglasses. I have a hat, but it's like the sun's like perfectly in my eyes, which might make me look good on camera for golden hour. But uh, <laughs> thanks, camera guy. But it kind of sucks when you're getting laser beamed by the Death Star. That is the sun. All right, so I'm gonna read you off some stats about the rain real quick, and because um, I'm not a dictionary, I'm not a thesaurus, and I don't hold on and retain a whole bunch of this info. So real quick, this is gonna be a 60,000 candela with 1,400 lumens and a runtime of 120 minutes, and I'm assuming that's gonna be at max power. Uh, it doesn't say otherwise. Uh, with the, the total weight, I believe, is going to be uh, 6.14 ounces. So, well, hold on. Complete kit weight, remote switch plus 18650 plus pick mount. Oh, so it's going to be a total of 8.54 ounces. So with the ri <laughs> a lot of weight going on, uh, it's that's almost half a pound, right? 8.54 ounces with the light, with the switch, and with the pick rail. That's actually a good amount of weight on the front end of your gun, so that's something you want to weigh. This is going to be for the full size. Price tag is going to be $279.99 plus shipping and handling, but I believe where you get a lot of that money back is the confidence and kit. I'm sure they have some sort of warranty where it's going to be like, hey, we're going to, we're going to take care of you, so don't panic. It's one of the things where you get what you pay for. And I know that is probably a steep bill for a lot of guys to pay, which is understandable. I mean, we are in a, a situation in our country and our economy where things aren't going uh, necessarily how a lot of guys want them to go. So $279 on a weapon light could be steep uh, if Uncle Sam's not footing the bill, if you don't work in some sort of government role or capacity carrying a firearm. And if you're a concerned citizen, that's a lot of money to throw at a light, considering that you probably find surefires floating around now for you know cheaper i mean it, that's the thing is like surefires i probably got this one for high to mid 100s and which is a good deal it just depends on where you can find the stuff used gear and uh, the likes of other stuff now it is going to be a little bit cheaper than say a full size mod light it's going to be actually probably what like 40 40 bucks cheaper you know and then the whole mod light package that package is going to be expensive but i think mod light you definitely get what you pay for in their warranty system and their size and signature and a lot of that gear. 
These are probably some of the worst reviews ever. I still don't know why you're watching this. All right is off the bat you really do see that um, you have multiple options and angles to work to activate the light so you have your your switches over here but also on the rear of this cloud defensive rain is that you have the push back here where it can also click to hold it or you can do the momentary by pressure okay so that's nice it gives you more options and then the the wire runs out to the side over here so that's one nice thing about this bad boy is that it's uh, gives you more options to play with as opposed to of course we're going back to a surefire because that's what a lot of guys use and recommend and it's still a great light but i think we're, their surefire is starting to get a run for its money now but you have the switch back here you can't activate that switch without activating the tape and of course there are surefires now we'll go over here with this colt there are surefires now that you can activate back here but it's not integral like on the rain you have to buy this part separate Right. It's hundred dollars too, just for yeah. the tail cap. For these tail caps, it's not cheap either. So you're paying an additional huge amount of money for this tail cap. That I'm sure this package is just, is essentially going to total up to the range. Am I, am I wrong? It's actually more. So yeah. So with this tape switch right here, so you have this option of the of the click on and it holds, and then you have the momentary here, and then you have the uh, button back here with the setup of this M300. Everything all said and done with the rails and everything. It's going to be more than a range. <laughs> It's coming back to this. This bad boy is gonna be around four hundred dollars. This entire setup with the light pressure switch and the weird in the rear tape cap. Uh, that's a lot of money for this and the lumen output. I mean, you get the durability and the reliability of Surefire, which has been tried and true for years. But that's a lot of moolah, as opposed to the two hundred seventy-nine dollars setup and the output and the durability of now the technology that is the, the cloud rain and that's what's really nice about the, the market that we have in the gun culture is that this technology is progressing leaps and bounds now over where we were and i'm actually curious to see what surefire is probably going to release down the line as far as their flashlights because they had kind of been the industry standard but now with mod light and, and cloud coming out they're kind of pushing surefire down to like number three uh, which is very controversial yet again is all an opinion piece so don't get your knickers in a twist, my boys and my ladies. Action. I realized that I left my ear pro on for a good chunk of this. I'm going to take it back off. Hey, you want to sell the forward hat for $300? Yeah, you guys, if you guys want to buy this forward observation hat, we're currently selling it uh, for charity for about $3 million. Uh, a good chunk of that charity goes into my yacht fund where I actually will purchase a yacht. The rest of the $10, I'll probably get to the local hobo at the intersection by my house. So I'm not gonna do an unboxing because that's just not the channel that we roll with here. At least not for now. It's we already unboxed it, it's already set up to be like it's all a fugazi fugazi if we do it at that point. It's not a true unboxing. If you guys do want to send me stuff, feel feel free to email me and you can send me stuff and we'll do a proper unboxing then, but for now we're not gonna do that. Please no dildos. Uh <laughs> I mean He well, already has enough. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all the dildos are gonna start raining in now. All right, so for a 12 pack- it? It's a rain <laughs> review. <laughs> Let's talk about batteries and battery usage. So uh, these batteries are rechargeable batteries. It comes with a charger from Cloud. It's charged two batteries at once. So if you're about to go LARP and hitting hard in the flat range after dark, when uh, mom says you can go out, then you can charge up your batteries, get out there, and you can have a backup battery stored on your kit. However you want to go about it, it's your business. It essentially comes with the chargeable batteries. I, dude, I'm no battery expert. They're like, it has like 3,800 milliamps or whatever. I'm like, hey, cool. It does, as long as it runs a long time, I'm happy. It doesn't blow up on me. Like the O-Light. Good weapon lights are very important. So they have to be at the top of your priority after you get your rifle, whatever weapon system you get. If you don't have a good weapon light, then your gun won't work for half of the time because it's dark out for a good chunk of the day. So... <laughs> A lot of your threats are also going to come when it's dark out. Bad guys don't like to typically work during the daytime. Doesn't mean they won't, of course. They, of course, will work during the daytime. So if you're looking to have this as a home defense setup, or if you're a guy who uh, is in a professional capacity, say law enforcement, military, this will be a good light to have. So now we're going to do the reliability test where we see if how well it does. Uh, the cloud, so thinking about it overall, I think it gives a thumbs up. It's a good light, robust, and for what it does, it's affordable in my opinion. The price tag may be steep, but if you're looking at it, say, comparing to the Surefire package we just showed you, it's not bad, honestly, and how it performs is pretty good. The only downside is its large size. It's freaking huge. So that's one of the things you gotta consider. They do make the smaller size, but we don't have one of those out here, unfortunately. I think Cloud played it smart. They're like, we can't break all of our lights sending it to these idiots, so. Well, mainly me, but, you know, it makes sense, so. For me, I would. I don't care. I'll take the weight and the pain. I'll run it. Uh, I don't want really to take this gun on long patrols. But if you had to, those ounces are going to lead the pounds. Those pounds are going to lead the pain. So it's going to suck after a bit. 
All right, well, another word salad is over. And today we're gonna close out this video with a big old thank you to my Patreons. If you are on Patreon, uh, that's where I get early access to videos and other stuff and we get to hang out, talk, and shoot the breeze on Patreon. Big supporters of the channel and they help mitigate eat a lot of the costs and ammo and other entertainment costs. It is hard to run a channel. Shirts, I'm selling shirts right now, so got shirts back up and moving. Get it to be a well-oiled machine, so that's very good. Go ahead and sign your shirt. Working on getting some more designs out. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Leave a comment, actually. I love the comments. The comments... <laughs> <laughs> you guys are wild, and I love it. So leave a comment down below. I like to read those when I'm uh, I, I, so when you guys are watching this on the toilet, I'm also reading your comments on the toilet. So it's like we're, <laughs> it's like a wild. You gotta realize it's just like a internet. It's like a, a world wide web of of butts to toilets. So. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, this channel, this channel, is something. Else. All right, gentlemen. Uh... Contact, contact. <laughs>